I'm going to be conducting RAM video editing tests with 720p, 1080p, and 4K footage in the same timeline with the same motion graphics and music. All that I'm going to do is switch out the main footage for different resolution qualities in order to test out how much RAM you actually need. In order to understand the spec out of my test, here is the gear I'm using. I'm using a Dell XPS 15 9560, an Intel Core i7 7700HQ, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 GPU, 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM at 2400 megahertz from HyperX, and a 512 gig solid state SSD hard drive, along with a Fujifilm X-T2 camera shooting at 30 frames per second in each of the resolutions. And I'll also be dropping these into Premiere Pro in order to test out the RAM usage when editing video. The first thing I wanted to mention before conducting these tests is that the computer system consumes a certain amount of RAM the first thing that I wanted to mention before conducting these tests is that a computer system consumes a certain amount of RAM to be operational. So when deciding on how much RAM you need, it is very important to include the system usage into the mix. On average, most systems will consume 1.5 to 3 gigs of RAM without any foreground tasks open. That is something like Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, or After Effects. Now, you can go through and shut down some of those background tasks and those processes, but this does take some knowledge on which ones are actually necessary to run your computer and which ones aren't necessary at the time of you working, say, in Premiere Pro or Photoshop. So now that we have that light disclaimer out of the way, let's check out the tests. But before we dive in, if you're curious about the laptops that I recommend, you can head down into the description below and click one of those links. Now I will have them listed out in separate categories, referring to where they best fit, whether it be 1080p, 4K or beyond with video editing. And if you do make a purchase through one of those links, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. That's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. I'm going to start off with the 720p footage and work my way towards the 4K. All of these tests are done with a project that is nine minutes long, shot at 30 frames per second. I have loaded the project with motion graphics, some light color grading, and separately recorded audio as well as background music. All right, so here are the test results. Rendering out 7,200 frames inside of Premiere Pro at 720p resolution takes 6.7 gigs. It also takes 6.7 gigs for 1080p as well as 4K. This is because when you're rendering, you're not really rendering the actual footage, you're rendering the motion graphics. So as expected, they were all the same for this test. All right, next is the export test. And each of these resolutions was exported out to its original resolution, but to YouTube settings. So for instance, 720p YouTube settings, 1080p YouTube settings, and 4K YouTube settings. We saw some highs and lows from three to 12 gigs of RAM usage during the export, but on average, the 720p took about seven gigs of RAM, the 1080p project took about 8.4 gigs of RAM, and the 4K project took about 8.7 gigs of RAM. All right, now for playback usage. So this is when you're playing back your footage in the timeline within Premiere Pro. At fourth quality, the 720p footage took about 2.7 gigs, the 1080p took about 3.1 gigs, and the 4K took about 4.1 gigs of RAM. At full quality, they all took an average of 5.8 gigs of RAM in order to do the full quality playback. This honestly surprised me, and maybe there's some other detail that I'm not quite sure of how to like alter in order to get better speeds for maybe 720 versus 4K. Perhaps if you know, you can comment in the comment section below. And as we're going through this video, tell me how much RAM usage are you getting if you have a video editing laptop right now for these different presets and settings? All right, so I still recommend 16 gigs of RAM for video editing, whether it be 720p, 1080p, or 4K. And the reason being is those background processes. Your background processes are gonna take anywhere from one and a half to three gigs at a minimum. I'm usually running about seven gigs of background processes. I've tried to limit this, I've tried to delete some apps and pull this down, but that's usually where my computer sits. Now, if I wanna open Photoshop or I wanna start web browsing, that's gonna consume more RAM as well. So although the program only uses around eight to 12 gigs of RAM or so, you're gonna be consuming 
RAM on other parts of your computer, whether it be, like I said, Google Chrome, Photoshop, or just background tasks. So that 16 gigs of RAM is a safe benchmark to make sure you're not consuming all of your RAM while doing video editing. I really hope this video has been helpful today. Again, check out some of those links in the description below if you're looking for a computer for video editing, and that's how you can support the channel by buying through one of those links. I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. That's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. I'm Benji Kaiser, and I'll see y'all here in the next episode.